so this this book uh, came out, and it's it's got a lot of it's all basically male photography. At, at the time, there was no there was no real male photography going on. It was all women, and the whole thing of men's photography was actually it was it wasn't very nice. So we were kind of pushing the aesthetic of it's all right to groom, it's all right to have your own style as a man, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's camp or, you know, or kind of feminine in any way. And now with Beckham and all that stuff, it's actually a very mainstay within the industry. But at the time, it was, it was pretty revolutionary as a concept. Uh, so I guess the moral of that story you know, is, well, this was our vision, you know, to take men's fashion into a place that was up there with women's fashion, but having its own aesthetic quality, and that's how and that's how we worked it. And at the time, it was, you know, like I said, there wasn't a lot of that kind of stuff, and we stuck to our guns. And, and it, on some level, it's changed the industry completely. You know, uh, there's a you know, there's a lot more men's magazines. You know, even like there's, there's shots here of, of uh, a guy wearing a sarong. You know. Basically, David Beckham is the, uh, is the, if you like, the uh, modern iconic version of this stuff. Uh, and, you know, in a way, this kind of movement gave rise to that ability. So, you know, I would say that if you have anything that you're passionate about, or if you have anything that's particular to you, that's what it's all about. You know, is working within what it is that you like to do, completely and absolutely, because all you have is your individuality. You know, that's all. That's all you have to offer is yourself. You know, what you do, who you are, is what you've got. You know, and if you can make what you are original, if you can be true to what you are, you can go in and say, look, this is what I do. This is who I am. And it's so specialised now that you know uh, that if you have some form of identity, whatever it is, it might be a technique, it might be a cropping, you know, that's at least a way to get in the door to have an identity. Oh, that's the guy who does that, and you know that that is how you can start. You can start a career like that, essentially. Uh, so, you know, I would recommend anyone to be really to really try and find what it is that they like. Oh, I like this, I like black and white photography, I like shooting girls, I, I, I only like shooting shoes, or whatever it is that you feel most comfortable with. Friends, family, you know, if you, if you end up doing, you know, there's, I know there's a lot of photography, you know, this girl, one girl, uh, called Alice Hawkins, I don't know if you know her work, she just kind of, she was a bit, her own look was kind of backcombed, blonde, Barbie, and kind of quite weird. And everyone's like, "Wow, that's a really weird photographer, isn't it?" But she used to photograph weird people with backcombed hair and in kind of very naff situations. And her first two years of working, people were like, "What is this? This is like really chow or just not right." But she worked that, and suddenly it became very cool. And she got commissioned in one of these magazines, <coughs> and her, you know, suddenly she was you know, shooting celebrities in the context of her backcombed, weird, you know, plastic world. And that became her look, and she worked that, and now she's moved it slightly, and she's making a good living. So, you know, whatever it is you do, you know, photographing train lines, or whatever your passion, I would just go for that and build that, and not look out, you know, I mean, obviously you look out, oh, I really like that. I can be influenced by that. I, 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 that triggers something exciting in me, or I like that, or I like to work that. But essentially, you bring it back to what it is that you have a passion for. Because if you don't have a passion for it, it won't drive you through, you know, because there's so much, you know, knocks that you get. All you have really is your passion for what it is you do to, to see you through. And if you don't have that, and if you're trying to please everyone else too early on or trying to, you know. So that's something I, I would say. And also in terms of influence, I think 
from my experience, you know, you you, you never be able to copy anything properly. So what I'm trying to say is, if you if you like something, oh, I really like that. Uh, I want to do something like that. You know, you go and do something like that. It's never going to be like that. It's always going to be you. So again, you know, it's kind of, you know, a lot of influences. Like when I first started, I was very into Richard Abaddon, you know. So I would want to do white background, full length stuff with this kind of soft, big side light, umbrella light, and very classic stuff. And I would go, oh, I want to do that today and kind of, uh, you know, do something that's similar to that. But by the time I got in there with a different model, it's never the same. So it's this kind of duality between taking your influences and using them to inspire you or even copy on some level. Uh, and at the same time having your own individual thing. Uh, so it, for me it's a constant duality and I realise that if I have something that I want to be influenced by that I really like, if I just go there right, I'm going to do that. By the time I get through and by the time it's printed, it's never like that. So, you know, if you don't, know, if you don't have something specific, then right now, then I would say, look at someone else's work. Go, I like that. I want to do something like that. You know, so if you like, if you like that, then say, okay, I really like that. What is that? What is it about that I like? You know, like it's black and white. It's got, you know, it's a man, it's got, you know, whatever it is about the photograph that you have any passion for. Uh, I'm just going around diversifying, but this, this, so the Buffalo movement uh, ended 20 years ago when Ray Petrie, the stylist, died. And uh, so this was a 20-year celebration in, in the magazine that we first started in, which was The Face, and The Face... Uh, became this magazine arena on Clues. So, uh, 